Alright guys, and we're back. Looks like we're going to have our 2v2 match of PT versus ZT on Scorched Haven. Yeah, and, um, you know... <laughs> um, you know, I personally really don't like this map for 2v2. Um, I feel like it's almost always a one base push, but you know we'll see what happens this game. Seems like a lot of the maps in two v two where the uh, p where your partners are separated in different bases tend to be a lot of one basing. Cheese yeah. becomes a lot easier. It becomes more like two one v ones than anything else. Yeah. Um, but we do see uh, Drexel spawning on the left side. Uh, RPI spawning on the right side. Go Drexel. It's like uh, Zerg is not going to be sex pulling. So, that's always <laughs> it's good, good to know. Yeah. Two e two. We just see pretty standard play from everyone here in the first forty seconds of this game. <laughs> um, um, you know, one thing you can do on this map, um, if this map does go past the one base push, you can, you can kind of, as Terran and Protoss can build a wall in front of the two naturals and just defend out there. And that can actually be a very good staging ground to build up a, a large maxed out army and eventually push out later in the game. Um, so if, if the game can get to the point where the players can secure their naturals, this map does become a little bit more stable than it is at first. Although, all the expansions are, uh, besides the natural are still really far out there as a, you know, as far, far from your uh, main base. As they can possibly be. And the spawning pool will go down for the Zerg player on... 10 supply. So going for an early or probably 9 supply. So it looks like he's going for a 9 pool here. Um, no, I think that's a 10 pool. That's a 10 pool, right. yeah. So, Either way, um, an early pool. Um, Yoon is already completely walled off because uh, this map does have a little easier wall off. Let's see if uh, let's see how Eric's dealing down there. Eric could be in trouble if these 6 Zerglings uh, are produced right away. And he is he is building his gateway to position here so that the opening is yeah, on this side. There are the six Zerglings. Um, has has Team Drexel seen the pool yet? Um, I think they are just scouting right, now it right now, pool. so yeah. he knows that it's finished. But he does see these lings building. Let's see if he's going to try to wall off a little bit more his front. Yeah, or, so we uh, see this drone coming in here doing a little bit of scouting, and it looks like Protoss will throw down yeah. a second gateway. He does scout the early lings, which is nice. If he gets a zealot or a pylon out right now, he could definitely repel this. Um, you know what? I don't think the gap in between those two gateways is secure. I think I just saw the probe go through it. Oh, man. Um, we'll find out. And it yeah. is not secure. Oh, you can get good. through this. Um, yeah, I think those Zerglings are going to be able to get right in there. That is not good for building the side right core here. back here and the zerglings will run up the ramp and they will be able to get right through this hole and start eating away at this pylon it's um, going to send a worker over and the first zealot starts building now we do have a marine coming over to help from, uh, from the immune's base um, and all his the zerglings are not attacking workers which is is kind of nice right now yeah, um, they just continue to looks like ace royal is away. coming in with some workers here interesting to kind of help this push those are actually his marines. Those are not even marines. What do you have right there? Oh, okay. And a bunch of marines coming in here from uh, from Royal. It looks like Persona is going to get completely shut down oh, by this early no. game force, bunkering outside the Protoss Nexus. Yeah, all he's got is a cybernetic score. He can only make probes right now. In the meantime, it does not look like Yoon has enough to come and help support throwing on another barracks. And this bunker will finish right here in Protoss's main. Oh man, this is not looking good for Drexel. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not going to be good. 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 It's not going
Yep, looks like he's gonna try and build a hatch here. Unless he doesn't have quite enough money yet, but... Uh, and okay. Terran's base, we do see the engineering bay, and... Oh, you know what? You know what we missed? Terran proxied those two barracks. Oh, well, we completely missed that, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. Terran did proxy these two barracks right here. Yeah, so this was really beautiful to push right here. This was a very nice cheese orchestrated by, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Two spore crawlers going down right now for uh, the RPI Zerg player. Um, he's most likely worried about cloak banshees right now, and um, that's not happening. But if it was, that would be the perfect defense for it. Yep. It looks like Protoss is going to be completely cleaned off the map, and they are out of the game. So now it comes down to whether or not Yoon can defeat two players against one. I mean, they did both cheese. They're probably slightly behind. Yeah, but Zerg is throwing down another expansion right now. Um, take a look at the units tab, see how many workers we have going right now. It looks like Yoon has 23, and our opponents have very similar counts. So Zerg has 24, and our other Terran has 23 as well. So the game is fairly even right now. Um, except for the fact that it's two against one, yeah. and the Terran player from RPI is expanding to the remnants of Persona's base right now. Oh man, um, this so, is just rude. Yeah, a little, a little bit of BM going down right now. A little bit of a manner command center. <laughs> That's more convenient, his barracks are yeah, right here. Yeah, you know, actually, you know, he, he already only built, has to fly him right there. He already built the base over here, so, you know, may as well just make it his home. This is a nice little force here from you, and he could do some damage, as we do see that the army is not that massive for our opponents. He's seeing yeah, nine know. marines, one marauder, and 13 zerglings. With some nice control, Yoon could do some damage to those forces. Oh. He does need to go very, very soon, though. Like, yeah. now. It looks like he is doing that, salvaging the bunker. Um, four siege tanks, and how many marines does he have right now? It looks like he has almost a full page, so, uh, 22. Yeah. Um, I wonder if he's gonna check Persona's base. He's bringing all the workers. This is oh, an all-in. All and you know what? I think at this point, this is the best choice he has, really. This is a good force. This could really do some damage right here. If he manages to micro this correctly, he, yeah. it's not over. And I do believe he has Siege Tech done, so, um... But, uh, on the other hand, since Terran has that base right next to his base, um, Terran can just keep building there and then attack him while he's out. We see some Banelings morphing. This is a good amount of Banelings. If controlled properly, it could eliminate this entire army. army but uh, we'll see. More Banelings morphing, and he needs to engage us before they finish. And I just don't see the siege going down yet. Uh, there's the siege going down. So after being sieged, uh, Zerg is pretty mad. He does not have enough to deal with this right now. Looks like Terran doesn't have anything over here, as most of his army is across the map. Zerg is coming in now. The natural is falling. A little bit of micro coming out of Terran here. All the Banelings have been neutralized. Zerg is actually getting cleaned up right now. Looks like Terran will take out Zerg right here. Yeah, let's, okay, let's, natural. let's see if he's going to push up into the main or if he's going to try to go for Terran. Very little in this main. No um, workers here. So Yeah, actually, it looks like Zerg lost everything there except a couple workers still mining gas. But in the meantime... Floating his command center to the edge, all of his buildings to the edge of the map, going yeah. for the all-in death push. It looks like Terran uh, jumped in there at the few Marines from that hidden base. Terran is going to get completely completely shut down at their main. Uh, the hidden base is still functioning, but there are no workers here right now. So they are all coming in trying to clean up this as quickly as possible. And you may may force a stalemate or a longer game here at the very least. Let's see, Yoon has no, Yoon has almost no money left, right, so... but he has taken the base on the top left side. He has. Oh, uh, but Zergling's found it, so that's really not good for him. Oh, uh, yeah, he's lifting off again. He is going to lift off all his buildings, but he has cleaned up the Terran main. Uh, I would like Although, him to... I think... Well, yeah, the, that, that command center is going to float away, I think. And Terran, really? Where is Terran's army? We don't see any army out of uh, out of our blue Terran, so... Yeah, you know what? Yoon could defeat this right now if he decided to push. And yeah, he, is, um, he can completely push up into the Zerg oh, bases. Man. There's also no army, so... This is... This is ridiculous. Yeah, you know what? He's got to go right now. He's pushing way too slow. He's taking his time with these siege tanks, but he doesn't realize that Zerg doesn't actually have anything right now. Um, and then again, Terran is just rebuilding his production structures, so... Yeah, but the longer he waits, the, the less of a chance he has to win, so hopefully he cleans up Zerg quick on the right side. Definitely. He is, he is doing a good job of attacking the structures and not taking any siege tank fire. Zerg is going to try to sneak out that is going to help, because he does have enough to expand again. Yep, so it looks like Zerg will be able to rebuild right now. And it looks like his lair does fall, so he will be rebuilding entirely, but I think 
And, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, you needs to get out of this Zerg base and go kill this Tamron while he has this and not what could come out of these structures very soon. Terran is floating a lot of money right now. Um, so we will see how this turns out. He's really just killing everything in this base, and he's removing his army, but it will be intercepted by these Marines, and if he doesn't pull this back, everything here will die. Yeah, he's really just got to go try to kill Terran right now. Um, Terran has almost no force. He could definitely do some serious damage with what he has left. Three siege tanks and a bunch of Marines. Uh, we got... He got almost two rows of marines, so against this, he wins. He needs to go right now. Siege and it looks like Tech has just finished for the Terran player for RPI, so he will have siege mode on his two siege tanks, so that... He is sending a marine up here to check this out. Uh, he only has one siege tank right now. Uh, it's the, the second one just finished, I think. Oh, uh, just, just finished. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, this is not looking good. If he had pushed a little earlier, Yoon would have absolutely had this. No. And the second siege tank is going to siege on the high ground, but he has to push anyway. He has no choice at this point. Oh, no, and he's pulling back. Oh, oh no. Oh, and he's going to take some damage with no SCVs to repair, it looks like. Oh, man, it looks like they are going to hold this game. Um, Floating everything to this expansion. Gold, which is actually right right now. One barracks burning down right there in the air. He is taking this gold, which is nice. Yeah, it's a nice choice. I don't think uh, Ace Royal really has what it takes to push against this right yeah, now, he but he could it. very soon. Although, um, Yoon doesn't have high ground vision there above his siege tanks, so actually he could get pushed by siege tanks on the high ground right now. It's um, true. And he yeah. is uh, mule mining right here with four mules, getting stuff up again. Gonna probably try and... Oh, he's gonna repair his siege... Repair... Um. There, there we go. go, and we are going to repair the siege tank. Alright. Alright, Zerg is just starting to build a couple drones right now. Um, Terran's getting up to Starport. I'd actually like to see him go for Banshees right now. That would be a great move. Um, he is building a tech lab on the Starport right and now. And it looks so like might be. Terran has taken the dramatic supply lead now. Yeah, Terran has a ton of money and no supply depots. So, um, if you look at Yoon's money, he's up at 1,100 minerals and 500 and it gas. doesn't seem as though he's building any workers out of this, uh, command center. Just gonna hold yeah. off for a while. Mine... Oh, he doesn't have any... Does he not have any SCVs left? Like no. Must have. Oh, no. He doesn't... If he doesn't have a supply depot built right now, he can't ever get above supply and that. Oops. He loses his whole army. Yeah. You see this base being cleaned up. Yeah, there is a there is a normal command floating over on the right side, but it looks like uh, Yoon is gonna pull out. He's gonna push out right now. Um, and there is not enough against this army. No, but this army is things. slightly caught out of position. Oh no! And he's gonna bounce back over. and forth in between these two armies for a minute here, and this is really it, holding on to the last breath. It was very admirable, and he he did stand a pretty good chance there, turning a what seemed to be a cheese game into a slightly longer game, but uh. That will make it, what, 2-1 two, 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 one RPI, two, one RPI, so... And uh, I will see you guys later as I'm <laughs> playing this game. <laughs> Alright. <laughs>